good day lovely people welcome to my channel today i'll be showing you how i made this crunchy coconut chinchin two ways of making it if you want to know what to the end all right all right all right okay I these are the ingredients i'll be using eggs three eggs nutmeg baking powder coconut milk you can also make your own from a fresh coconut if you want sugar butter vanilla and flour so i started by sieving the flour just to ensure there are no lumps in the floor. After sieving the floor, I went ahead and start missing the dry ingredients. I also sieved my corn flour. I added a little bit of corn flour and then added my sugar, the nutmeg, baking powder, and the vanilla powder I now went ahead and mixed everything properly after mixing it properly I went ahead and added my butter I prefer using the butter like this to get um, a cruncher chinchim you know <laughs> yeah than melting it using the melted butter so I just went ahead to rub everything up just this way just to mix the flow with the butter after mixing it I went ahead and added my eggs and then continued mixing everything up with my hands when it comes to picking change mixing it with your hands is better it gives you a final result I went ahead and added my coconut milk I added a little bit so as not to have a soft dough because we need a very strong dough for our changing in that way it makes it um more crunchy yeah so I'm adding it bit by bit so as to check the consistency as i mix it gently so as you can see my dough is properly formed it's no longer sticking on the bowl yeah that is how you know that your dough is properly formed once it's not sticking on your bowl that means it's ready so guys i will cover it up and set it aside for about 10 to 15 minutes i sprinkled a little flow on my working area as you can see and also sprinkled a little flow on my pan you know this is just to help my dough not to stick on the pan and not to stick on this area my working area yeah so after about 10 to 15 minutes I brought out my dough and then cut out a little as you can see what I'm doing then use the floor to you know massage it a little bit and use my rolling pin to smoothen it and flatten it just the way I'm doing 
I need it to be very flat because once you put it in the oil it um, increases a little bit so I need it to be very flat so I went ahead and used my pizza cutter to cut it to my desired shape so why doing baking yours you can as well cut it to your desired shape any shape at all any shape of your choice if you want it big small square triangle rectangle anyhow you want it you just cut it this is time for you to cut it anyhow you want so i continued you know after cutting i put it in my pan the pan i set aside so i continued the same process till i finished cutting the dough yeah if you notice while mixing it i did not add any water no additional water i only used the coconut milk in mixing it yeah there is this special flavor coconut gives to everything yeah virtually everything <laughs> yeah so i just want that flavor in my changing yeah so this is the last batch and this is the toughest stage when it comes to baking chinchin <laughs> cutting it is another thing you know it involves three steps the first is mixing the dough the second is cutting and the last stage is frying it and i think the tedious stage is the cotton oh my god <laughs> yeah anyway guys this is actually the last batch i'll be pouring my fry chin chim here just to drain out the excess oil i'll be frying this one and then be baking the other one yeah so i've already preheated my oil now i'll go ahead and start adding the chin chin because the oil is hot enough so i went ahead and poured in my chin chin As you can see i added a little yeah you need to fry it bit by bit so that the chin chin doesn't soak much oil when you add it so much it makes it to soak so much oil but once you fry it bit by bit in that way it will not soak much oil so I kept stirring it just to ensure that the changing fries properly you know every side fries properly I will stir and fry till it's golden brown yeah that is the perfect color for your chin chin oh yeah so guys as you can see I went ahead to remove the chin chin I put it in my sieve after which I'll be pouring it on the kitchen towel I showed earlier on to drain the remaining oil in the chinchin. I forgot to mention earlier on that I placed um, the second pan in the oven for it to bake. Yeah, while frying the chinchin. The one in the oven is there baking at 160 degrees. I repeated the same process till the changing finishes. Yeah. I don't really want to bore you guys with all the processes. This is what I was saying, guys. Can you see that oil <laughs> on the um, 
pepper towel like glazed it has drained the excess oil this is my fried chin chim and here is my baked chin chim yeah this baked chin chim is for you if you don't like oil and you don't like too much fry fry mm -hmm. so you can as well bake your chin chim and enjoy it so guys that is all for this video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to give me a thumbs up bye and see you all in my next video